super, <laughs> super technical Luigi. Um, according to Elegant, one of the top ten Luigis in the world. Nice. Yeah, I believe seventh on the list. Uh, and he's one of the better players here in SB. Uh, probably slated to make top eight today. And he's going to be coming up against, um, let's Aminu. say, Aminu. The or yeah. TMP Mr. T. Wait, no, what? it's not Mr. T. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, like, huh? The young Link. Um, All right, already getting the uh, up. Oh, yeah, so I think in this matchup, um, Aminu is gonna like have a lot of stuff he can do against Matan, mm -hmm. um, especially with the, the like project the different projectiles and different angles that Young Link can throw things. Yeah. Um, but Matan is no slouch. He knows how to get in and around these projectiles, and all Luigi's are super good at uh, parrying and perfect shielding. So yeah. we're gonna see how well Aminu can work around that. Um, He's doing pretty well in this opening bit here, uh, especially with a lot of these back airs that are landing uh, when Matan does an unsafe option on his shield. Yeah, I like Aminu uh, wave landing every time he feels like uh, Diamond's a little too close. Yeah. Just wants to land safely and quickly. Oh, got out of that Cyclone. Yeah, that Cyclone is actually invincible on frame one. So if you try... Oh. <laughs> that was a nice snipe. So if you try and trade with it, um, the Luigi will come out on top with the Cyclone every single time. And it's frame one. Yeah, frame one, so. Frame one, invincible. Oh, <laughs> nice up smash. Mm. Caught him from behind. Yeah, that's kind of like the Luigi special, because that up smash reaches so deceptively far behind him. So if you're at high percent and Luigi's like got his head like tilted back, you got to be careful. Yeah. Diamond looking for a grab right now. Yeah, that's, um, with Luigi at Rage, that's super scary for the young Link. Uh, Luigi known for his zero to deaths across multiple Smash platforms. And Matan certainly no slouch when it comes to execution. Oh, oh great F tilt. It actually beat out um, Matan's fireball, which is interesting. We tried to catch the landing with the down smash, but Aminu smart with the wave land past him and was able to actually get Matan off stage. This is a lot closer off than stage. I thought it would be. And oh. nice up B. Yeah, that's nice um, awareness from Diamond right there. Yeah. You can't ever, like, do a super laggy option against uh, Diamond Fan. He knows exactly how to hit those Shoryukens, and he's going to hit him every single time. It's so scary fighting him. And this is, like, when it's the matchup... It's down right now. Yeah, it's when the matchup kind of turns against Young Link. Um, when he's down in percents, yeah, you can fire all your projectiles. It doesn't matter. Matan can just avoid them, and... Uh, you have to approach him at this percent. Yeah. I mean, you're able to find all these uh, arrows and boomerangs, but not really a finishing blow. And that's the upbeat. Uh, I mean, the downbeam. Yeah, that was a great read on the DI there by uh, Diamond Don fan. And oh. that's, yeah, that's going to do it. I thought the fireball was going to hit, and then he's going to be able to, like, wave land away. Yeah. It was a little scary, but Diamond finds a F smash. So what I want to see here from Aminu is, uh, in this game, I want to see him play more like he did that first stock. That first stock, he wasn't playing scared. But as soon as Diamond Dawn fan hit that up B, you could tell that Aminu's whole play style changed. He was like, I don't want to get into Matan's space because he could yeah. do that to me. Yeah, definitely just like stayed away even when he was on his last stock. Hey, Cameron. But right, game two was good. Yeah. But that first stock, he was not afraid to get in, and that's kind of how you need to play against Luigi. Uh-oh. This could be big. Oh, oh just... Misses the up B. Finds a Cyclone frame one. Yeah, did you see he was able to get that Cyclone in between the Young Link forward smashes? Yeah. And that's going to do it. Nice. That's so scary when you fight a Luigi of Diamond Dawn fans caliber, is you know that he can do these Luigi combos and hit these Shoryukens. Nice parry right there. Yeah. Not be able, to, not able to get like a huge punish off it. Dash check. Could Luigi do at seventy three percent? Oh, <laughs> that. That's what you can do at seventy three percent. Yeah. Cool. It's um, I believe at that percent, if a Matan gets a down throw, he can actually true combo it if he reads your DI into an up B. Oh, a little too slow in the down air. This is exactly how you cannot play against a Luigi of Diamond Dawn Pants caliber. He is. Playing a little scared, especially because he's been—he's a little shaken that he's got hit by those two uh, bees. And 
Yeah. Diamond Diamond's, knows it. He probably just forgot that the um, down air hops onto his shield. Yeah. <laughs> Finds time for a taunt right there. The matant. Matant. <laughs> And see, this is like, Matan doesn't want to play like this, but he will, like, he can play like this if he has to. He knows that he has the lead. Oh, and, oh my god. So he's going to get that jab reset right there. Just the slow walk. Yeah. Extremely menacing. Yeah. Hit him with the, the um, oh, that's nice going to do it. Yeah. Great stuff there by Diamond Onfan showing why 